praise Jesus. My name is Joy Blessing Patricia Wamboguturi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where we do consistent Bible reading. Today we are going to do a review of Genesis chapter 22 and last time we did Genesis chapter 21. And so today this is the story of Abraham going to sacrifice the son Isaac and it starts by God calling Abraham. And Abraham is quick to hear the voice of God and says, here I am. I, and God tells him that I want you to give your son to me as a sacrifice. And we see that Abraham does not ask many questions. I don't know what, what, what. But he, obey, he obeys. He obeys the voice of God. And he goes to the place that God had told him. That go and sacrifice your son on this mountain. Go, go to Moriah and you'll find a mountain there. And you'll sacrifice your son to me there and he goes even with his servants and he reaches a place and tells the servants you remain here as i go yonder with my son to worship the lord and i'll be back and when we go there the son even asks the dad dad where is there we have the fire we have the we, we have the fire we have the knife but where is the lamb that you're going to to sacrifice and the and, and abraham tells the son that the lord is going to provide and we are, when we are there you see that Abraham was just going to sacrifice the son, but God told him, he sent, he, he sent the angel to tell him that do not sacrifice your son. Do not, he said, Abraham, do, lay, do not lay your hand on the lad or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, seeing you have not withheld your own son, your only son from me. And you see that from this, God provides a ram and God blesses Abraham even the more. And at the end of this chapter, we see how God even blesses the extended family of Abraham, apart from just his own family giving him a son, the brother of, of Abraham, the one who is still alive. God blesses him with a lot of, with a lot of children, blesses the wife Mil Milka with children, eight of them, eight, eight of them. And we find that from these sons, Bethel is the one who gives who will give later, who will give rise to Rebecca, and we will find Rebecca Ukombele. So, there is a, there is a great reward in, obedien in obedience. There is a great reward by when we obey God, when we walk by his statutes, when we listen to his voice, when we do not love ourselves too much that we do not want to give to 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 God and when we just allow ourselves to reach at a place that nothing else is important to our lives but only Christ God is going to bless our lives you see that at this point Abraham does not have any other kids he does not have this other many other kids by Sarah and but here when God says give me your son sacrifice to me your son he does not become hesitant at God no 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 and everything but he gives the son he gives the son to God and God said do, do not lay your hands on him I have seen that you do not even that you you will not even withhold your own son from me today I want to ask you what is this thing that you that you you have put in your life that it's like too hard for you to lay it down just for God. It may be bad relationships that you're walking in, that you feel like, oh my God, how will I leave this? And they've become a, like a hindrance for your blessing in life. Abraham could not allow the son, the son. He didn't know that, by the way, if I just give to God, God is going to bless me. But you find that when he gave even the son freely to God, God blessed him. And God saw that, oh, so even this son cannot be a hindrance. Some of us, maybe you're married, and this this spouse of yours has become like a hindrance. Pray about it. Talk to God about it. God is always listening. The way he, he was always with Abraham, the way he called Abraham, Abraham sacrificed this for me. God is going to ask some of you to sacrifice great things in life and he asks us that every day because this is a daily journey of sanctification after we receive salvation and may god give you strength that like abraham we will not we will not hold back our idols in life but we will give freely to him everything that god requires of us may god bless you and yes Thank you. And this this word has a lot of things. Sometimes you're not able to say all of it here, but you just share with us. Tell us what you think about the chapter. Tell us what God has put and placed in your heart concerning this. And know that even as Abraham says, that at the mountain of God, God is going to provide. At his mountain, when we go to pray, as he went to pray up there, God provided. God, He came back home with more than what he went up there with. He came back home with blessings. He came back home with his son. He came back a blessed man. 
So no, at the mountain of God, you will not come back empty, but you will come back more blessed and more nourished to serve the living God. So I love you so much and God loves you too. God bless you and have a wonderful day.